What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to model this cool stair design in Revit. So I love stair designs and I also like how to take some interesting and different uh, stair design and how to recreate it in Revit that uh, traditionally has only a, a simple stair designing tool. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And follow me on social media as well. And if you want to download this uh, particular stair design that I'm going to be modeling, check out my Patreon, first link in the description, you can download all of my project files, over 150 files so far. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project as it is a architectural design detail to model a stair like this. Now let's let Revit start up. And first let's change the units and for stairs I like to use centimeters and if you're using imperial feel free to set imperial units. Anyway I'm just going to hit OK and uh, let's set the uh, height of the levels. So this level 2 is now at 4 meters, it's way too much so let's set it at 320 centimeters, that's kind of the average uh, height for a an apartment building at least in my country, so let's leave it at that. And let's go back into level 1 and let's start modeling the stair. So I'm just going to be using the stair tool first. Now we're not going to be modeling this stair with a stair tool, but we need uh, to model a stair to use as a template for our uh, in-place uh, family stair that we're going to be modeling later on. So let's start off with the stair tool and it goes from level 1 to level 2 of course. And for the level of threads, yeah, let's let's change this to monolithic stair. I think it's just easier to work with, less elements, less faces, and uh, it's it should be a bit steeper because this looks like a, a stair that would you you would use in a cramped space. So let's change this to 16. Hit apply. Okay, so as you can see now the uh, riser height is actually uh, a lot uh, higher, so the stair is a lot steeper. So let's just place a stair like so, place it in the center of the screen, hit finish, and there we go. So we've got a template to work from. Now let me just delete this up, I don't need that, and let's just delete the railings, we don't need those either. So if we go into 3D, this uh, stair is what we're going to be using to as a template. So now let's start off a component, a model in place component, and of course let's categorize it as a stair. So let's find it. Okay, stairs, stairs one, okay. So now this stair is kind of going zigzag, so if I go into level 1, it should be going like this, from one to the other, to the, and like that. So uh, I'm just going to start an extrusion, and I'm going to start from here to here because it's easier to start because I don't have anything over here. Now let's just select these two and move them, so just MV is the shortcut for the move tool and set it over here. So this will be the first step. Now to set the height of the first step we need to set the work plane. So I just go here to set, pick a plane, hit OK and let's pick this face over here, the first step. And now let's finish off this, uh, well the first uh, step. And once we have this uh, uh, for the extrusion end, I'm going to go with uh, minus, uh, let's go minus 4 centimeters. Hit apply, hit finish, and if I go into 3D, this is what it should look like. It should be kind of embedded into this first step. Okay, so now once we have this, uh, let's go uh, back into level 1, and uh, now we need to create the second step, and then we can uh, kind of copy and paste the rest of the stair. So just go to create, extrusion, set work plane, pick a plane, hit OK, and go with the second step. And now do the same thing. So you start from here, you finish here, and here you start from here, you finish there. And then you close it off here, and you close it off here as well. Okay, and the same extrusion end, and you hit finish. Now if we go into 3D, this is what we have. Now we need to connect these two over here, and this one we need to connect to the ground. So let's go into level 1, and uh, let's go with create, extrusion, and now I'm just going to use pick lines, and uh, let's pick this line, this line, 
this line and then let's add one more line over here and for this thickness let's go with uh, four centimeters as well it should be like uh, one continuous kind of uh, thickness for the whole stair and now just tr for trim and extend and you just finish this off you hit finish then i'm just going to type in dm for draw mirror and mirror this to the other side and then just mv for move and let's just move it over here Okay, so once we have that, let's go into 3D, and as you can see now, it, it looks kind of messy, so we need to select this one, attach it on this top face, and attach it here on the bottom, and do the same thing over here. Attach this to the ground, and attach this to the bottom of the first step. Okay, so now let's just go with Join Geometry, and let's just join this whole thing together, kind of like that. Okay, now it's, it's a one element. Okay, so now we just need to copy and paste this to get the rest of the stair. So just go into, let's go with West Elevation. And uh, once we're here, uh, just go Copy and make sure you check Multiple. And you start off from, uh, let's see, from here. Okay, this is the first step. And then go here. Okay, we have some problems. Let's see if I go again, Copy, maybe... Yeah, let's just select it perhaps over here, unconstrain, go over here. Okay, there you go. So we go there, we go here, again here. Okay, I think, let me just go into 3D. Okay, yeah, I messed up there as you can see. So let's select this thing, delete, delete, delete. And now again, I can select just this portion and go back into west elevation go copy multiple and just go from there to here and then over here over here and over here as well okay and one more so for the last one let's see if i just go into 3d yeah we just need to finish it off so we need to copy this upward so let's go back into west elevation go copy and let's just copy from here to here okay and if i just go into 3d this is what we have now we need to join this uh, whole thing uh, together and to do that you need to use the join tool so this is already connected now for some reason when you copy it it doesn't keep everything joined together which is annoying because now you have to go through this whole process of uh, kind of connecting the the rest of the stair now you don't have to do this but as you can see over here uh, perhaps if I connect this to this and now as you can see here you've got this ugly line that you don't really need to have so now when I join now it's gone and it looks a lot more it looks smoother and uh, it looks everything looks connected okay let's just finish this off or you can use multiple joins so you just go here multiple join and then you kind of uh, select everything that you want to have joined and now if I select this, yeah, it's like the whole thing. Okay, and uh, before we finish, I like to set the material. So uh, you can go over here to material and let's search for some uh, nice wood material. So let's go with wood and let's see, we've got this birch wood that looks nice. Hit apply, okay. And uh, let's just go finish model, okay. And let me now delete this uh, stair because we don't really need this template and maybe go into realistic. Okay, this looks really nice. And now you only need to figure out the way to connect it here on the top. So let's just go into a level two. Yeah, here we go. And now let's do a kind of a floor that's going to be integrated in this stair. So my best guess for something like this is to go kind of like this with a rectangle. It's just an imaginary floor. And then just pick these two lines and then go SL for split element and go TR for trim and extend and just trim it kind of like this. And when you hit finish, it looks like it's kind of embedded into the whole uh, into the whole floor so it would look kind of like that but anyway that's at least in my opinion that's the coolest way you can connect it it looks kind of weird but but cool and nevertheless so anyway that's pretty much it for this uh, cool stair in Revit tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you want to download this again 
First link in the description to my Patreon page for only $5 a month. You can get access to all of my project files and the project files from the projects that I'm going to be doing in the future. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.